Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm your girl Luna and we're going to be doing a quicker video. This is just a room build and I'm specifically doing this simply because I've been wanting to do this uh, build for a while now. Simply because my friend Mama Zenobia got me on to some sewing CC and I I love fashion and clothing and sewing and I like making crafting rooms when Nifty Nitty came out I was probably too excited for it more than what most people were excited for but in the end a lot of this is all CC items um, I kind of wanted to make a sewing room that kind of depicted what I would want I will put the link down below in the CC that I got it came from a website called around the sims com, but the page that I got it on was around the sims 4 so I'm not really sure but I'll link it down below and honestly that website got me really really hooked because I actually found a ton of other CC items from realistic like clothing and not clothing realistic shopping supplies like laundry detergent and cleaning supplies and stuff for my witch's uh, house and stuff like that but Besides the point, I'm putting this together with all of these items I have gotten from this website to make a sewing room. Now, I have seen other sewing mods in CC that work a little bit differently than this one. You can quote unquote sew on the sewing machine, but it's more of a computer interaction. So it has sewing on it, but you don't really see the fabric going through nothing's really being sewn it's more of the animation it looks like they're on a computer but i have seen one that was actually like movement i didn't think that it would actually had animation to it i thought it was just a deco one so that was a fun surprise personally um, but other than that i had fun making this because it kind of depicts who i am and i love having you know the bolts of fabric and it's been nice making these smaller rooms what I did with this room actually was I did make the room um, open on two sides for aesthetic pur purposes of taking pictures and for using on Instagram and other social media contacts. But I did end up closing the entire room and actually put a door on it. And I did put the room in the gallery. But like I said, if you don't have any of the CC items, then it's going to be pretty much an empty room but like i said i'll link it down below the only thing they don't have on there is i probably didn't add the door that i used because i ended up using a barnyard door i don't know why but i pictured this room in a like a, a farmhouse for some reason and i'm obsessed with the barnyard doors so i put a barnyard door on it i there's things that i do that make no sense sometimes um but yeah, I pretty much went through and I think I used every color swatch of all the bolts of fabric because as a person who has collected fabric for my own sewing space, you had every color and every print that you could buy <laughs> and no, no joke. I really, really used to have like totes and totes of fabric until I told myself, hey, you got to calm down because you don't have the room for it right now. Um, until I got my new house, but I don't sew as much as I used to. So again, this is why I live through the Sims and live through simulation games because it gives me the things that I don't normally do. I love these tables that came in, in the website, uh, that have the end caps on there. And eventually I do end up putting like storage boxes in those empty places, but I don't think I show it on camera. I think I do it after the fact. Cause I'm like, oh yeah. I forgot to do that, which happens a lot, <laughs> all the time. One thing that I'm like envious of in this own little small room is having that, that tall table. I'm 5'8 with a 38 inch inseam, so I have longer legs than I have a torso. And so tables have to be a little bit higher for me. And I always tell people when I am at an island or a table, it has to be my height uh, because it kills my back. So I'm always envious of tall tables when I'm around them. So I was like, oh, we have to have a tall cutting table. It has to be there. The only thing that sucked is I wanted to use that table, uh, that desk, but I, I guess the sewing machine only works on this table from the CC. I'm not really sure, but um, 
I had to switch it back. Which, I mean, that table was fine. But once I saw the other two-tiered desk, I was like, ooh, that would be really cute. Because I wanted to put the metal sewing machine on there. That was, like, the old-time sewing machines as, like, a, col a collective thing. Because if you have sewing machines, you have more than one. If you are a sewer, I know for a fact you have more than one sewing machine. Maybe even three or four. It's it's inevitable. Um, but yeah, just trying some new things out here. Trying to find new windows. Trying to get away from using the exact same stuff all the time. Which I am really bad at. Like if I do a build, I'm like, oh, I know what windows I'm going to use. I know what windows I'm going to use. I'm like, look, this entire game has how many windows? Stop using the same windows. So it took me a minute to try and go through. Because I didn't want to do... Uh, like an older view like I wanted it to be kind of casual kind of hip kind of you know but I I was I was struggling with the windows I kid you not because I got a lot of new CC windows and I just wanted to use them and I'm like these don't make sense here so don't do that uh the other thing I struggle with I always struggle with wallpaper and flooring I those are the hardest things for me and I don't know why windows curtains wallpaper and flooring Give me anything else in this build and I can decorate it, all the things, clutter it, but someone else needs to do the curtains, wallpaper, and the floor. <laughs> you can't just have concrete everywhere. Not that I want concrete, but if I don't, I, that's usually why I do the walls and the floors last because I will spend hours arguing with myself trying to figure out what to do. And I, we're getting better. One, one step at a time, baby steps. We'll get there eventually. But I honestly did have fun, like, how it turned out and putting the sim in there and seeing how she kind of moved around and interacted with it. I enjoyed it. Uh, like I said before in a previous video, I'm, I like doing these rooms. It gives me a little bit more freedom and it doesn't take me eight hours on one. So I can get multiple ones done, offer them in the gallery, and then also have a another creative outlet that I enjoy that gives me calming. Um, it is, it's very relaxing to make rooms. Uh, it's, it's relaxing to build for me, but to be able to do rooms, um, I'm liking them in the four by four size. I feel like five by five, I don't mind it. It's just uneven. Like I, it's like, well, I guess it's not uneven cause that makes 10, but you know what I mean? I don't know. I like my outer squares to be even, <laughs> and, uh, the three by three is, isn't, isn't the greatest it's not too small but it's not big enough and i feel like the five by five i don't know i'm just weird with the number six by six i feel like it's just too big to just do the i don't know i'm here i am thinking too much on a room that this is this is where we've come in our life um and again i switch out those curtains because i realized I, I wanted to do the orange but then when i changed the wallpaper to be this i realized it just it just didn't work. So my I have a picture of just the open room dollhouse concept because I really like doing dollhouses. I think they're adorable and cute and I love being able to go onto Canva and edit them and make them all artsy. But then like I said, I do end up closing it off so you can have a full room and actually use it in a build. So I think I'm gonna start doing that um, just for my own purposes of having other content and keep doing my picture editing and stuff is I, I will do the dollhouses just for me and then for those purposes and then I'll end up closing up the room there isn't there is an office that I did um I did a home office and I kept it dollhouse and I put it in the gallery but after I did this I actually went back and closed off that room and finished it as a home office and put it back in the gallery now you can still get the dollhouse but I did end up finishing and made it a, a full room so that is now up in the gallery as well um and i'm on a holiday break right now so i'll be putting out probably a, uh, i'll put out more stuff but i think i'm gonna space it out because it is the holiday so i want to do more stuff with my kids and things and i did put these pictures on the wall because i wanted to make it look like um it was your usually if you're a fashion designer you also sketch so i found these sketches wanted to put them on a pegboard it wouldn't work whatever so then I just stuck them to the wall because that's something I would do uh so the screenshots are coming up I hope you enjoyed this you know if you want to see more of just quick builds like this and more rooms and dollhouses just let me know uh have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are and this is Luna Galaxy out